Massachusetts prepper here. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of dehydrating today. Uh, as you can see, I got a number 10 can here of, of sliced peaches packed in syrup. And what we're going to do today is take and get these all ready to go in the dehydrator. Get them all dehydrated. So what I'm going to do is in my colander, I'm going to dump these peaches out here because they are packed in light syrup. And uh, I want to make sure that I get all the syrup off because when we dehydrate them in the syrup, they're just like way too sweet. So we're going to take and go ahead and get these rinsed off really good so we don't have a, a lot of syrup on them. And that way when we dehydrate them, we'll have just the nice sweetness of the peach without all that extra syrup, which probably isn't as healthy for you anyway. Okay, we have these uh, nice clean peaches all washed off real good here, got all that syrup off them. So now what we're going to do is in our Nesco American Harvest Food Dehydrator, I have the square model, some of you may have the round one. Uh, I think this one does a pretty good job and the drying times are relatively short. So uh, eventually I may take an upgrade to the Excalibur 9 tray just so I have a little bit more capacity and everything. But for this today, we're going to take and uh, get all set up here to put these peaches on. Okay, well we're back. Now we're going to just take and go ahead and kind of spread these out. I do have my... Uh, little plastic things down on here. With the peaches, I could probably get away with not using these, but you know, they're here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use them. If I was doing some other fruits here at the same time, I'd probably forego using the clean screens and just put these on here, right on the, the actual rack itself, because these peaches are big enough where they're not gonna fall through. But, since I'm not going to have anything else in here today, I'm just going to kind of load these up, get them all set in here, and uh, get them dehydrated. Now, I don't want these too awful close to one another, so, uh, you know, plenty of room in between them. They are going to shrink up quite a bit. Uh, just uh, don't want them just all clumped on here because that's going to just take forever to dry them and everything. But, uh, so this is all, uh, all I'm doing, and uh, I'm just going to get these on here, and we'll be right back. Okay, everyone, uh, we ended up with just a little over three racks. I uh, really didn't have enough to complete this fourth rack, but uh, we got them spread out on there. So we're going to do these uh, three and a half racks of clean peaches, sliced peaches, in heavy syrup with all the heavy syrup rinsed off, and uh, we're going to get this all set up and ready to go. When it's all done, we'll come back and show you the finished result. We'll be back. Hey everyone. Now these uh, peach slices have been in the dehydrator now for oh, just about 15, 16 hours. Uh, as I flipped them all over, I didn't want to bore you with all the unsticking of the peach chips. but. Um, they, they've got a nice flexible texture right now, but some of them still have a little bit of stickiness on the back side of them. So we're going to let these go for at least another eh, three to five hours. Uh, we'll check on them throughout the process and see when they, they lose that last little bit of moisture they've got in them. But anyway, we're not going to take and uh, bore you with that whole process. So we're going to take and get these ready to go back in the dehydrator. And... Uh, once everything is all done, we'll take and bring you back and show you the finished product. Okay guys, we're back. Our peach slices are finally all dehydrated. Give you a little close-up view here. They're all nice and dry, ready to be taken off all the trays and put away. Well, there's that distinctive plastic sound that comes off this dried stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and get these all pulled off here now. They'll be all ready to store away. 
all nice and dry. Ready to go. So anyway, while we're doing this, we'll take and uh, get this all done. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all. Like I, I said, this was a number 10 can of sliced clean peaches and heavy syrup. We washed the syrup off them and dehydrated them. Took a little over 24 hours to get these all dehydrated. But out of a number 10 can, this is what we ended up with. Uh, real nice color, nice and flexible, uh, chewy, and actually quite delicious. Uh, let's go ahead and try one here and let you know what it tastes like. Mmm, that's pretty good. Tastes just like a nice sweet peach. Okay, everybody. Yeah, well now we're gonna take and uh, we're just gonna take and throw these peach slices right in our food saver bag and seal it on up with the food food saver. Then whenever uh, we want to have a little snack, be all good to go. So we're just gonna take and pop these right in one of these bags. <coughs> these bags are actually kind of nice because they got the little area on them where you can reuse the bag which makes it kind of convenient this way you can use these as snacks and all that good stuff all the kids except for one seems to uh, like them I think they're pretty good my wife she thought they were pretty tasty my mother thought they were pretty good, so anyway, this is what we have here. Okay, let's get a weight on these and see how much we ended up with after they've been dehydrated. So that number 10 can, 10.6 ounces from 6 pounds. So 10.6 ounces of clean peaches from 6.6 .6 pounds. Now, granted, quite a bit of that was the juice from the peaches, but when it's all said and done, this stores up in a really, really small space. So what we're going to do now, just move this out of the way, go ahead and get this bag sealed up. I'm going to go ahead and try to get most of the air out before I start to vacuum seal this. This way this will be kept nice and uh, fresh for us, hopefully. We'll see. This probably going to make fresh in this bag and all I'm going to do is unzip it and grab some uh, peach slices out of there and have a nice little snack. I well, hope you enjoyed this. We'll be back when we get ready to dehydrate some more stuff.